FIFA 21 closed beta will be released very soon. And here's everything that you need to know about it. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. So let's talk a little bit about the FIFA 21 beta, exactly what you need to know and exactly what it is if you are new to the FIFA franchise. Every year, EA drop a closed beta for FIFA. Now, this is usually released around this sort of time. Last year, it was released August 8th. That's when the first codes got released. And it's unfortunately only to the UK and Ireland, although this year they may extend it to the US if you're lucky. However, for those of you across the pond and in other countries in Europe, sadly, as of right now and as of last year, it's only the UK and Ireland that get the beta code. So unfortunately, you may not stand a chance of getting into the beta. But the FIFA beta is uh, a way for players to get an early look into the brand new game to sort of test out some of the new features, to test out some of the new gameplay mechanics, to test out the new menus and things like that and get a sort of good idea as to what the new game is going to be like. Although I will say typically the beta doesn't accurately represent the actual gameplay itself and typically the beta is a little bit different from the full release of the game. It's usually just to sort of see people's reactions and gauge what their responses are to the game. Last year, I believe all pro players or, or a good handful of pro players got access to the beta along with some randomly selected players. And this year, I'm guessing it'll probably be the same. So how do you get the FIFA 21 beta? Well, you know now. It is usually randomly selected individuals from the FIFA community. It doesn't matter how long you've been playing the game, doesn't matter how many packs you open, how many games you've played in the previous year, it's usually just completely randomly selected uh, and those people get an email with a code. Now, each year you get three different codes released. There's a Pro Clubs code, there is a Career Mode code, and there is an Ultimate Team code. However, towards the end of the beta, everyone can play every game mode and try every single game mode out. I think they usually just give three different codes out to people individually to try and minimize the amount of server intensity that they have to go through because usually they don't use a lot of server power for the beta. This is what an email usually looks like when you receive a FIFA 21 beta code. It will tell you exactly what code you have and give you the code. Uh, the one on the screen right now is for career mode and kickoff. Uh, however, like I said earlier, usually the last week and a half to two weeks, everyone gets access to Ultimate Team. I don't know if they'll do the same thing this year, but I'm just going off previous years and every year it's been the same. So I'd guess they do exactly the same. Now, something that might be disappointing to a few of you guys to know is that the beta codes are locked to an account. So you can't just purchase a beta code of somebody and use it on your account. They're actually locked to the EA account that they've been given to. So if you get a beta code and say get a spare one on a different account you don't use, you can't just sell that or give that to somebody. And something that's incredibly important to note is that the FIFA 21 beta will be a closed beta, which means you can't post anything about it. So you can't post, say, a YouTube video. You can't stream it on Twitch. You can't post things on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Typically, EA are quite on top of this. They usually take down YouTube channels that post it. They usually take down Twitch channels that use it and stream it. They usually take down Twitter accounts that post it. However, it's completely up to you if you actually want to post it or not. Just if you, you know, don't really care about your account and will let EA take it down, I guess. But yeah, typically it is a closed beta, a private beta. I'm not entirely sure why EA don't want anything coming through. Maybe it's because they want people to be surprised or, or they want certain things to be a secret. I'm not entirely sure, but because it is about two months before the game is released, usually that they release it, I, I kind of can understand why they would want to have things not publicized quite yet. Let's talk about the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team beta then and what you can expect. So typically you get given the code and you'll load it up on your account. You do have to download a, quite a small file. I think in comparison to the game, it's only like eight or nine gigabytes when the game is usually like 30 or 40, maybe 50. Uh, however, it's still significant for some people that maybe don't have fast internet speeds. Uh, you'll have to download that and then you can load up the game and you'll have access to the game mode that you've been given, whether it's career mode, kickoff, pro clubs, whatever you've been given. I'm going to talk about Ultimate Team specifically. Now, when you load in, they give you welcome back packs. You typically get daily rewards, things like coins, things like uh, packs. You know, uh, last year, I believe they give out an inform pack as well. This is an example of something they gave out last year for the FIFA 20 close beta, which was, you know, an inform pack with the, the team of the years as informs, basically. So you got like Neymar, Ronaldo. Oh, sorry, you didn't get Ronaldo. You got Neymar, Messi, Modric. Ramos, Mbappe, things like that. Uh, EA gave this out to their players that played on the beta for free, completely free. Uh, obviously, the items were untradeable. So you get a chance to use some of the best players against each other. And you can play games online in the Ultimate Team beta against other people that have got the Ultimate Team beta. It basically works like Ultimate Team. However, what I will quickly say now, none of this carries over. You lose every inch of progress you've made as soon as 
the beta is over. You don't get to carry any of it. You don't get a reward for playing the FIFA 21 beta. You don't get a reward for participating or giving feedback. You have to give everything back or basically just gets deleted from your account. This is just an example of a screenshot from the beta last year uh, showing sort of what it looked like when people were on the beta, what kind of teams they had and things like that. Usually you don't get amazing plays, but you get some plays here and there uh, that you can use. For example, the Rashfords, the Salas and things like that. You can get impacts. And of course, towards the end, you got that inform pack. Now, none of these ratings are the FIFA 21 ratings or for example, these aren't the FIFA 20 ratings, as you can tell. Uh, EA don't give you new ratings in the beta. You might get new player faces or player images when they're updating player images, if they've got that far yet. Uh, so some players might have a new image. Some people might not have a new image. However, you won't get the ratings. Like these ratings aren't correct. They aren't final. Nothing close to it. They, they are literally the previous year's ratings. So I know there's a few people every year that think they've leaked ratings. I thought I'd just unfortunately let you down now and let you know uh, that's not how it works. These aren't official ratings. They are just the previous year's ratings. You may be wondering, can I do anything to get the beta? Do I have to have my email signed up to anything? And there are a few different steps you can actually take to possibly increase your chance. None of this is actually confirmed, but it's believed that it increases your chance when you take these steps. Now, uh, typically with the FIFA 20 beta and the FIFA 21 beta, EA ask you to fill out a questionnaire with feedback. They ask you to give feedback on the beta. If you have had the beta in previous years and you haven't given back feedback, it's said to reduce your chances of getting it again. However, I know people that have got it again year after year after year without giving any kind of feedback so it's it could be one of those myths it could just be someone getting incredibly lucky and getting it again no one really knows because they are pretty secretive about it but if you get prompted at the end with a questionnaire if you get emailed a questionnaire i'd say fill it in just because you know you don't want to potentially hinder any chance of getting it again but i mean you know, it's not proven that it has any kind of impact or effect at all. On the screen right now is a website called the EA Customer Portal. Now, I have got all of my sensitive information sort of blocked out so you guys don't see my info. However, on this website, you can actually go down to a tab called Email Preferences. By the way, this is a really helpful website. I'll link it in the description down below. This allows you to stay on top of your emails, passwords, the phone numbers that are uh, connected, everything like that. It, it's got a lot of information uh, attached to this. You can see your order history, your origin access, your email preferences, private settings, security, everything you need to know is on this website. So like I said, link down below. Uh, but go down to email preferences and what it will show you is it will basically show you uh, where you can add different games to your preferences. Now, again, this is one of those myths and not actually confirmed, but you can come down here and you can click on add more and you can add on the FIFA games that you see. For example, there's FIFA, the FIFA 20. Uh, there was FIFA 19 on it before, but I think it's been uh, removed now because it's been so long since FIFA 19. Uh, you can click on add and then you'll get uh, prompted with this here that you've been added as a preferred game is FIFA. Again, another one of those myths that is never proven to have any impact, but it could help your chances of getting a FIFA 21 beta code if you add this as one of your preferences. I'm adding it personally, and we'll sort of see what happens. Hopefully, you know, fingers crossed I'll get a beta code, but there's no no confirmation. We'll see. Now, throughout this video, you've been seeing just the already released sort of screenshots and, and GIFs and things of uh, FIFA 21 that EA have put on the screen. Uh, sorry, EA put on the website that I've decided to put on the screen. Just kind of give you an idea of what the beta will look like when you get on the menus. Um, so, I mean, let me know down below if you guys get on the beta. Uh, I predict it'll be released this Friday. Um, I reckon it'll be either this Friday or then literally the next couple of days. Um, so we'll kind of see. But let me know down below if this was helpful to you. By the way, off topic, but it is literally 33 degrees Celsius right now. So this was a difficult video to make. <laughs> um, I've been taking breaks to literally just drink some water and things like that. It's been a very difficult uh, video to make, but hopefully it was useful to you guys. It gave you guys some useful and relevant information regarding the FIFA 21 beta. I will have videos coming up soon uh, regarding more relevant and uh, you know, information based on experience for other FIFA features. For example, things like the early access, uh, things like the FIFA point carryover. One thing I didn't mention in the video that I will quickly say is PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5 and Xbox One to Xbox Series X, they carry over. So if you start on the PS4, which everyone will have to because the PS5 won't be out yet, your club will carry over to the next gen console, the PS5. Uh, so don't worry about that carryover. That will that will be easy to do. You'll be able to carry over. They don't carry over between Xbox One and PS5 and PS4 and Xbox X. Uh, it's only the PS4 to PS5 and Xbox One to Xbox X. So don't worry about all that. That all carries over really easily. And we'll have obviously the FIFA point carryover at the start of the game. 
essentially you can start loading up FIFA points now on FIFA 20 and then carry over those FIFA points to FIFA 21 when early access drops uh, and you'll be able to open packs straight away. Uh, that is what a lot of people use to sort of preload their accounts ready for the next FIFA. Uh, a lot of YouTubers use that as well as a lot of sort of people that spend a lot of youth points really but that is pretty much it for the fifa 21 beta like i said let me know in the comments down below if you have any other information you, re you require uh, and let me know if this was helpful to you hopefully you do subscribe if you do enjoy the video uh one thing i will say with the fifa 21 beta like it really is quite drastically different from the beta to the full game usually so if you really hate the beta or you really dislike the gameplay in the beta do not fear it probably won't be the same when the full game gets released typically it's very different the usually the beta is just to get people's uh idea and feedback based on the kind of reskin and the skin of the game and how the game looks as opposed to the the fundamental game mechanics and things like that and you might even notice that the servers are better on the beta because there's a lot less people that are using the service so you might notice that the the servers are really good to connect to uh the connectivity of it is really smooth and things like that uh again it might be different when the full game gets released we'll have to see i'm hoping that servers this year will be a lot better given the next gen consoles are coming out but i have no information to go off so i'm not gonna say anything about that with with full confirmation yet but i do appreciate you guys watching the video and everyone for subscribing to the channel we're so close to 150,000 subs i really do appreciate it thank you all for watching uh let me know down in the comments down below if you want any other videos regarding these sort of topics and i'll see you later